Well, how are we doing out there? Hope you're all spot on and uh, having a lovely Easter. Happy Easter. Merry Easter. <laughs> uh, I've been shopping. I've been to Aldi. Come and have a look what I got. I'm going to walk around uh, Aldi as you do. We came across this. Uh, I noticed it's I'm new, so I had to get it and see what it's like. Specially selected gunpowder. Potatoes, marinated potatoes mixed with spices, chilli powder and topped with spring onion. Vegetarian. Two chilli rating and there is the serving suggestion. This was £2.49. So let's take a look at the packaging. So I'm going to slip this off and then I'm going to go around the back. Um, and I'll show you, it, uh, show you what it's like. Look, we are out of date by a couple of days I think. We're not going to worry about that. It's in there, look. Right. So it's 300 grams. There is some nutritional information. If you want to pause that and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. A little bit of spiel at the top there. Cooked potatoes in a sauce of mixed spices, ginger and garlic paste. And chilli powder with spring onion. There are the ingredients. The allergens in there are milk. Cooked potato, 85%. There are the ways to cook. Oven, fan, 180, electric, 200, gas, 6. 10 minutes. Stir and 10 minutes. So is that 20 minutes? It must be. Place on a baking tray in the middle shelf of a preheated oven for the time specified. Partly through cooking, stir thoroughly. Continue cooking for the remaining time. Allow to stand for one minute before serving. Do not reheat. Not suitable for microwave cooking. Right, so that's that. So we need to get rid of this, don't we? Well, I think we do. It doesn't say, but I'm going to get rid of it anyway. Um, so, oh. Peel seal test. It, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's failed. Oh no, no, it's failed, another sleepless night, oh no, I'll have to get all this bit off now, look, oh, never mind, it does say as well, remove sleeve and film, um, that, that's what you get, it does smell, it smells very, very good, it does, a couple of days out of date, but it smells great, um, it looks great. So it's going in this oven. I get quite a few messages on this about how much it is to run. Well, I did an experiment using my um, meter, my smart meter, and at 180, de 180 degrees for 20 minutes plus preheating, it works out at just under 15 pence. So it's ready now to go in. So 15 pence. For 20 minutes at 180. Oh, don't do that. I always wear oven gloves. So I'm going to read out yesterday's top three comments that I did. I did um, a beef and vegetable pasty. Um, so I get it on. So the top comment was from Glenn Anderson. Thank you very much, Glenn. He says, "Hello, Gareth. The beef is the essence of the pasty. Is wheel pasta cow corpse." during the prep stage. And then, um, a beef pasty suitable for vegans, thank you. Um, so yeah, so, that got 11, uh, sorry, 38 thumbs ups. Um, second top comment is from, let me find it, um, Peter Nelson, thank you very much Peter. So grateful for your reviews, Gareth. That's another item you've helped us avoid. And that got 33 thumbs up. Thumbs ups. And um, third top comment. I'll just have a look. Because they, they don't put them in order for some reason. You've got to look and scroll down. Um, Sad Drummer with 20. And... Dale Baker with 20, but Philip Mason with 21. The grey mush is probably the beef. 
and for 59 pence the, the pasty as a whole would satisfy a hunger pang. Maybe they're using the same packaged meat that Sainsbury's are getting so much flack for which turns their meat into stodge. Yeah, I think it was the, the sort of the grey sort of paste was the, the beef, the beef paste pasty. But like I say, 59 pence, it fills a hole, doesn't it? But, you know, it's just a shame that they have to put beef paste into our food and not beef. Really, isn't it? To sort of justify it's got beef in it, unfortunately. Right, another five minutes and I'll bring you back and we'll give this, what is it, gunpowder potatoes a stir. So I'm just going to give it a stir. It's had 10 minutes. It does say, now I mean this is a, this would be a, an accompaniment to a something. It says it serves two. It's smelling really good. It really is. I mean, I think if you buy, if you think if you get an Indian, um, you could have this like as a, as like a side sort of a dish, couldn't you? And sort of just dip in. Oh, it's smelling really good. It's smelling good. Right, back in the oven for another 10 minutes. I'd like to say a big thanks to Kizzy Pharrell as well. Thank you very much, Kizzy. I do appreciate it. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know if you've had this gunpowder potatoes before. It's done, there it is. It's smelling absolutely divine. It really is. Um, oh, it's so, so good to smell. It smells like an Indian restaurant. It really does smell good. It really does. It's getting me salivating. I'm going to get it out on this plate. We'll have a look what we've got. So there it is, I'll see if I can get a bit of better light for you and show you. It's a bit dark there, isn't it? That's better. Now I know you're saying you probably make this yourself, um, and uh, you probably could, if you know what you're doing with the ingredients, all them spices, and there are a lot of them as well. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm, you know, judging a book by its cover. But look at all them, sp oh, look at all them spices in there. It took me all year to buy all them spices. And I noticed as well more um, information. Dietary advice suitable for vegetarians. Warning: This product contains whole spices and no artificial um, colours, flavours, or preservatives. And it also says may also contain nuts, peanuts, and sesame. Ah, right. Taste test time. So I'm just going to dive in. I'm going to dive in, I'm going to have them three. Oh, it's Easter Sunday. I uh, should be having a uh, roast dinner. I'm going down the, um, what is it, gun gunpowder potatoes. Still having potatoes, maybe not roasted. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Mmm. God, my mouth is just sort of exploding with flavour from them spices. They're all, they're all good and tasty. Oh, yes. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, they are. That is tasty. Now that is good. It's not a share of that one. The potato. It's well seasoned. The potato is. It's got a little bit of a nip to it. They're not totally soft, but I don't mind it. But they are cooked. But the flavours. It is a too chilly rating. I'm getting a bit of heat now on the back of my throat. But the spices. They're all working together really good. It tastes really good. Mm. 
you, I mean putting spices together like that it says with spring onion I'll show you you're getting the spring onion there there's the cube sort of potatoes but oh yeah it really is it really is tasty I can't stop eating it I really can't you know and you've got a lovely a lovely Indian dish these on the side mm. I can't stop eating it it's that good mm. <laughs> it's a bit of a head sweater as well I can feel my head starting to sweat <laughs> you the people out there who are bald will know exactly what I mean people who aren't bald will have no idea whatsoever what's he talking about the beauty of being bald I like that I do like that I would buy that again uh, it's a it's, it's tasty, it really is. I know you could make your own. I mean, it's a lot of money, in it? 2 49 for potatoes and all them spices. But, you know, if you've got the spices in, have a crack yourself. But I couldn't make it that tasty. No way. I couldn't. I don't think I know how to without doing a bit of research. Um, but it is tasty. It's um, 10 out of 10 for me, definitely. It's good. I like it. And I can't stop eating it. I really can't. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh that is good right I'm gonna go up have a nice day have a nice weekend whatever you're doing if you're working or not enjoying with family <coughs> well that was a little bit bam that was a little bit strong. It has got a bit of a kick to it, but it's 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 good. It's very Moorish. I want more and more. So take care. Thanks for watching. All the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.